All things are working for my good. At the workplace, things are working for my good. In the business, things are working for my good. In my family, things are working for my good. In my academics, things are working for my good. Everything kind of has to sort itself and work together for my good. Because I love God. Because I love God. In the name of Jesus. Severe headache. Justin's husband. Severe headache. I command you to leave his body. Now, we don't want you in his head by 20 minutes to 9. In the name of Jesus, I want you to call him, Justin, at 20 minutes to 9. I expect that severe headache to be gone. We don't want it in his head by 20 minutes to 9. That means we have given it 6 minutes to live. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All things are working together for my good. Now, verse 29. <clears throat> for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified are you I, I, are you beginning to see yourself in his big plot that whom he foreknew he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son and whom he predestined he also called so the 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 fact that you are born again and if you are born again if you are born again you are the called he called you he called you i lift that thing off your chest viola in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit I lift that thing off your chest. Yeah. Like now. Like now, now. Because the Bible says, every burden shall be lifted and every yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. So, in the name of Jesus, that burden, that chest pain, we lift it off. And the yoke of that heaviness we destroy it by the anointing in the name of Jesus. Same with you, Antenna. That chest pain in your son, I rebuke it. Now, I rebuke it. I command it to be gone in the name of Jesus. It is well. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with them. Whom he foreknew, he predestined. Whom he predestined, he also called. So when they were preaching the gospel, you know, the, the whole thing about foreknowing you and pre, you know, determining your destiny is like, you know, for you, you thought you are stumbling into an assembly hall when they were preaching. You thought maybe you stumbled onto that person who preached you the gospel or you switched on that radio or that TV. It was all working together for your good. It was all working together to get you to the place where you'd be conformed to his image because he foreknew you. The fact that I am born again gives me a lot of joy knowing that somehow, somewhere, I was 
God decided before I was born, God decided I should be among those he has called. <laughs> you know, that gives me joy when I have whether I have money in my pocket or not, I tell myself I am the for a norm. I was predestined. Hey. Do you know the Bible says that the son of God was slain before the foundation of the world. He was slain before the foundation of the world. So before the foundation of the world, he had died for me already. And now what remained was for me to accept. You know, you can have resources, but you refuse the resources. People think that if Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, then the whole world should be saved. No. He died for the sins of the whole world. He took up the punishment for the whole world. He became the mercy seat for the whole world. But the world has to make a choice. The world has to choose him. The world has to accept his sacrifice. We saw it in the morning. How the law of the... Uh, how the body of the sinful body of death was subdued and overpowered in all those who accept his sacrifice so you have to accept his sacrifice he foreknew me he predestined me he called me but i have to respond mm. so all the preaching all the sermons all the fellowships, all those things, God was creating an opportunity for me to respond. He was waiting with anticipation. With every altar call, he would be waiting with anticipation. Is he going to accept? Is he going to accept? With every sermon, he was waiting for, with anticipation. Is she going to accept? Because if she accepts, she steps into my plan for her life. If she accepts, she steps into what I predestined her to receive. If she accepts, she steps into the healing that was provided for her 2,000 years ago. If she accepts she steps into all the blessings i have for her if she accepts oh so you can imagine the joy in heaven when they saw you stand up that's why the bible says there is rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents you can imagine the joy in heaven when they say oh yes she has accepted now she can enjoy everything that christ died for her to uh, to enjoy oh yes she has accepted now she can't be defeated by that sickness anymore oh yes she has accepted now she'll be a, a beneficiary of all the promises of god because they are yes and the men in christ jesus oh yes she has accepted now angels can minister to her oh yes she has accepted I tell you, God is for you. God has been for you from before you are even born. He has been on your side. He has been on your side. He's among those who support you. He's your most reliable, most loyal supporter. Hey! What shall, you know, and he said, moreover, whom he predestined, those he called, whom he called, those he justified, whom he justified, he also glorified. Do you notice that the tense in that verse is past tense? It's past tense, my friend. When you were accepting Jesus, you were, you were entering into finished goods. You were receiving a finished product salvation it was already sorted you were foreknown you are predestined you were called and then you were justified you are now accepting you are saying i accept i accept there are people who don't accept the same way you can be there some occasionally you see you see newspapers publish long lists of names of people who have unclaimed bank balances have you seen those lists in the newspapers? The foreign people uh, are in this bank. They have unclaimed bank balances. Bank balances. And then they publish the whole list. 
So they have money there, but it is unclaimed. There are so many people like that. Salvation has been provided. Healing has been provided. But it is it remains unclaimed because they don't accept the healer. But you're not like them. In the name of Jesus. I say you're not like them. Oh yes. You're not like them. You accepted the finished work of Jesus. Hmm. After Paul writing all this thing, he just asked, he says, he says, what then shall we say to these things? In Romans 8, 31, he says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? What then shall we say? Like, if God is for me, what pain can be against me? What condition can be against me? What demon spirit can be against me? What, what can we say? God has already proven that he's for me. Like, before I was formed in my mother's womb, he had he already knew me. He predestined me. The moment of my salvation was a confirmation of what God had been planning all along. Now, what can I say to these things? If God is for me, oh, that is why, David, that is why Arnold, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is able to heal you, whatever pain or whatever is being caused by that metal, we speak healing in Jesus' name. We've seen the Lord heal people that had metal inside them. In the mighty name of Jesus, your leg, your muscles, your systems, they work together for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak a cessation, a, a complete cessation of pain, a total functioning of that leg, in the name of Jesus, what then shall we say? What shall we say to these things? Ooh, what shall we say to these things? If God is for us, hmm? if God is for us, who can be against us? Like, who can be? Like, you need to, you need to start like speaking to these conditions and tell them, but who are you? Eh? But who are you to be against me, you migraine? If God is for me, who are you to be against me? If God is for me, you back problem, who are you to be against me? Ah. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare total healing upon everybody on this call. Whoever is believing God for healing, there's a person with a pain. Uh, it's in the right leg, uh, right leg, uh, the side of the, which bone is this? It is, uh, in anatomy, we call it the medial side, but it's like in the middle, in the topmost part of the right leg, but in the middle, like towards the inside of that leg, receive your healing right now from that pain in the precious name of Jesus. The precious name of Jesus. If God be for you, who can, what is it? Like, who, 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 what is it? You know, when David came to and found uh, Goliath, had had uh, all those 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 uh, parasites they die Helen in the name of Jesus I command the death of all those plasmodium parasites in your blood in the name of Jesus you know when David found Goliath challenging the armies of Israel for forty days and nights he stood and said who is this uncircumcised Philistine. Yeah. We need to develop the capacity to say, who is this? What is this? 
it was on um, when was it i was going to minister i think it was last monday or something and then i got this sharp pain in my chest around there and you know i first ignored it and then the thing stayed and then i got annoyed i said go i said go like you go who are you and the thing went in the name of jesus we thank god that agnes is now sleeping soundly whatever it was god has dealt with it to god be the glory to god be the glory who is this uncircumcised Philistine? I tell you the truth. God is for you. God is on your side. Okay? God is on your side. In verse 32, the apostle writes, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him for us all, are you seeing this? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him for us all, how shall he not with him also freely? Now, I, if the Bible that you are having right now is yours, you need to underline that first. You need, if it's a Bible in your phone, you need to highlight it so that whenever you open your eyes land on that verse very quickly ah he who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us like he got his son and he gave him up for us sincerely if he gave us jesus can't he give me a healing from malaria? If he gave me Jesus, can't he give Agnes a healing from that migraine? If he gave us Jesus, ah, I don't, I don't know whether you read that verse the way I read it, but for me, I think that all things means all things. Don't you think all things is all things? Like all things is all things? Which means that in there is healing from HIV. It's in all things. Healing from cancer. It's in all things. It is there. We, we just have to believe it. He promised it. We just have to believe it. Healing from back problem. Healing from a neck issue. Somebody be healed from that issue in the neck right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from that issue in the neck right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Another person who has a pain on the right side of your abdomen. There's a, a piercing pain on the right side of the abdomen. Uh, around that area, usually there is uh, 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 the appendix. So people who have pain around that area sometimes have appendicitis. Or whatever. Anyway, whatever it is, be healed right now. That pain goes. Uh, that pain goes in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will testify. He who did not spare his own son. Hey, Justin was supposed to call uh, at 20 minutes to. I need you to call and give me uh, an update. You see that? I had forgotten then, like the Holy Spirit reminded me to check. The headache has gone. He has had the headache since morning. We gave it six minutes. It's gone. The power of God knows no distance. 
The power of God knows no distance. Even you, wherever you are right now, believe for your condition to be sorted by the power of God. Believe for your condition to be sorted by the power of God. Believe for your child's condition to be sorted by the power of God. This power is dunamis. It is heavy duty power. Forget those few units of yaka. This is dunamis. Yabaga. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He and the, the son's chest is healed. Perina. In the mighty name of Jesus. All things work together for our good. All, all, all. Correbro baste. The power of God is real. The presence of God is real. You know the thing about the healing station, the thing about these healing services is that we enjoy the presence of the great physician. We enjoy the presence of the great physician. There's a scripture in Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22. Let me end with that one. Jeremiah, you can open it with me. I shared it with the people in the healing station on Saturday, and then we had so many healings, healings after healings, healings after healings, because we realized that the great physician was with us. Genesis, uh, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22, uh, the Amplified says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people restored? Because Zion no longer enjoyed the presence of the great physician. Oh, because Zion no longer enjoyed the presence. Because Zion didn't enjoy the presence of the great physician, the health of the daughter of God's people was not restored. But for us, we enjoy the presence of the great physician. We cherish the presence of the great physician. We love the presence of the great physician. We celebrate the presence of the great physician. We believe that when we are gathered in his name, the great physician is right here in our midst. And because of that, the health of the daughter of God's people is restored. The health of people who come here is restored. The health of people who attend this healing service is restored. The health of the people they are believing God for is restored because the great physician is alive. He is alive. This is a clinic and the, the, the you know, what happens usually on clinics, People write, uh, this is such and such clinic. Then they write the names of the, you know, so and so, MBCHB, MMED, blah, blah, blah. So and so, MD, blah, 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 PhD, blah, blah, blah. Now, this kind of clinic, we just write there, the great physician. Eh? The great physician is here. 2,000 years experience. <laughs> He heals all kinds of diseases, all infirmities. This is the great physician. We, we, we can't put one specialty to him. He's like a, like he specializes in all things. He says, I'm the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? That's the language of the great physician. I'm the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? I tell you the truth. There is nothing too hard for the great physician. There is no situation that is beyond the great physician. There is no condition that is too complicated for the great physician. This night, rise up and be healed. This night, let the womb 
receive power to conceive a child in the name of Jesus. This night, let the tubes be unblocked in the mighty name of Jesus. This night, let there be total healing in your womb in Jesus' name. This night, let there be supernatural, 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 supernatural. I announce supernatural. I speak supernatural. I speak supernatural, supernatural, supernatural in the mighty name of Jesus. I unleash the supernatural healing virtue of Jesus, the great physician, attending, attending. You know, you go to the clinic and they say, the physician who is attending today is Professor so-and-so. The one who is attending today is Professor so-and-so. So we say that attending today is the great physician the great physician 2000 years of experience ah we call him our extraordinary strategist we call him our impossibility specialist seated in heaven He's our incredible God. I mean, who does like somebody is in Kavali, the power flows from different kilometers and hits them. Somebody is in Ukunji, somebody's where. You know, the power of God is finding you wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are. I arrest those bad dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody tormented by bad dreams, I arrest them in the name of Jesus. Your mind is the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. We speak stability to your mind in Jesus' mighty name. That spirit of death following you, we arrest it in the name of Jesus. No more will you be tormented by the spirit of death in the mighty name of Jesus. Premature death shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I arrest premature death right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not die prematurely. You shall not die before your time. With long life the Lord shall satisfy you and he will show you his salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh yes. Hallelujah. 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 To God be the glory for all the things that he has done this night in the name of jesus now i want to pray uh, we shall have in the middle of the week we shall have opportunity for testimonies and you know as the lord has touched you and healed your relatives and people we've been believing for we shall have opportunity for uh, testimonies but for now i want to pray for those who are want to give in the name of jesus that the lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This God that we serve, he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you seed to sow. May the Lord give you bread, your daily bread. May the Lord enlarge you and increase you and multiply you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that you're stabilizing sugar levels. Thank you, Father, that you're stabilizing hormone levels. Hormone levels. I speak a stability in hormone levels. Yes, I speak a stability in sugar levels. I speak a stability in hormone levels. I speak a stability in blood pressure. Whatever it is that has levels, whatever it is that has levels, this night, we speak stability in blood pressure levels in the name of Jesus. We speak stability in sugar levels. We speak stability in hormone levels in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Wherever them come up, there is no God beside you. Thank you, Jesus. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise in Jesus' name. And the saints of Jesus said, Amen and Amen and Amen.